in South Africa, emerging wine producers fear the worst for their businesses under the country's fourth alcohol ban. South Africa is fighting a third wave of COVID with a more severe Delta variant circulating. Now, renewed restrictions were implemented in June, placing the country on alert level four. The restrictions included a fourth ban on all liquor sales and trade in the country. Here's Sumit Naidu with more. Suela Masocha spent years studying and learning about wine. In 2018, she took the plunge and opened her own brewery. Little did she know of what would happen in just two years. We have a lot of operational costs that we have, even as a small producer. But if we're not trading, because most of us actually do rely on, you know, um, everyday trading. So if I'm not selling, I'm not able to generate revenue. I don't have any savings, um, even as a business. So it means that we can't pay our employees as well. So if I can't pay rent for, you know, um, my business, um, it means that I need to close down. So it is really devastating. And we've also had to cut down on um, our staff. I'm also an employee of my own company, so I'm also not able to pay myself. Like Suella, hundreds of smaller and new emerging winemakers are being forced to make some tough decisions. The liquor bans are meant to clear hospital space for those infected with COVID. South Africa has a poor history when it comes to alcohol abuse and violence. While she understands the ban, she is also watching her demise in this industry. Suella opened this tasting room in March this year, but it has remained mostly closed due to the liquor bans. Suella's winery is hanging on its last thread. She says if this latest ban is extended or if there is another ban to come, she will have to close shop completely. She's already considered our options outside of winemaking. Considering the fact that this is the fourth time we are unable to trade, um, particularly as small businesses, you know, it poses um, the possibility of most of us not being able to, um, you know, return back to business after the fourth ban. Industry bodies say over 40,000 grape farm and winery workers face job losses. Wine tourism, that has been a huge concern for our industry, as has grown pretty much to a halt uh, since wineries can't open for tastings and nor can they sell wine. Uh, we are very, very hopeful, however, that this will change very soon and that visitors will return to South Africa in coming months, hopefully by the summer season, and visit our wineries again as this forms such a large part of what we do in the winelands. South Africa's wine exporters showed resilience in 2020, with exports growing by 7.7% as soon as the lockdown eased. With the industry closed again for almost a month, these gains will be lost. According to wine body Vinpro, up to 46% of black-owned brands and farms won't survive another year. Sumit Ranadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.